Hello YouTube, welcome back, I'm ID Armed, and welcome back to the ID Armory, my sub-series where I take a look at upgrade kits for Transformers and all other kinds of assorted figures today, and I have truly reached a new level of financial hellhole. Today, we are taking a look at Dr. Wu's Ninja Upgrade Kit for Titans Return 6-Shot as well as his Star Legends Repaint. P31 Ninja was purchased by myself uh, around Christmas time after I got Titans Return 6-Shot over here, uh, but he didn't come with his gun, so I consider this to be a suitable upgrade. Currently, he's a, this set is available right now at Big Bad Toy Store for about $18, which I'll say right now I think is a pretty good price for the stuff you do get. So let's get into it. So of course the big meat and potatoes of this kit are two uh, completely pure white uh, katanas. Looking at them up top, you see they have a kanji there, which I believe is the kanji for six, just as Revolver uh, Six Shots Titan Master has. And going down, you notice just a lot of techy detail. It's not anything super soft. It's very mechanical in design, and I really appreciate it. And both are the exact same. One minor flaw I do have is that one of my swords does have kind of a bent tip. It's a little hard to tell. Yeah, I'm sorry. It does not really get in there too well, but it is noticeable to my human eye. And then he also does come with some extra stuff. You get two included brackets to hold the swords in a specific position that I'll be showing in just a second. 5mm port here and then clips on here. And how it works is that there's a little indent right about here. Plug it in. And there we go. It holds it nice and tight and then you just pull on it to the release. And in addition, if you do have the guns to Titan's Return 6 shot, you do get little filler pieces. These are meant to cover up the Titan Master parts of those guns and give them nice little scopes. And what I consider to be actually my personal favorite is the head. At first I didn't think that including a brand new head would really change anything with Six Shot, but as we'll be seeing in a minute, it does really make it better. Looking in at the details, you have a kind of different head design up here, where instead of it being a, a super thin fin like we'll see on the original Titans Return Six Shot, it's a nice and bulky squared off fin. And in addition, we have a more angled forehead which will actually help to reveal more of the face details of Six Shot. And as usual, how it's gonna work is that it's gonna open up like this. So with that, those are our seven accessories for the Ninja Kit. And in just a second, we'll be taking a look at how the weapons work with different figures. Before we move on to the true compatibility with Time to Turn Six Shot, I do wanna demonstrate that as usual, these swords are compatible with any modern transformer that uses a five millimeter handle system. Aptly, I wanted to bring out Drift to show this off and it might take a little bit of fudging some figures and it's probably just due to the grooves but it, it does work it actually not gonna lie this really works as like a great sword on drift i do dig it i mean i wouldn't buy another one because he already does come with a pretty decent sword out of the box but also being just nice hard plastic really beats out like any other sword any recent or cyber control you figures have because as you know it's figures like springer and megatron from siege don't do have swords but they are like kind of a flimsier plastic but these are like just the hard stuff you there's like you know a little bit of bendiness to it but like it's not gonna warp or anything but it's time to go ahead and take a look at this set's compatibility with Titans Return Six Shot and here we have Titans Return Six Shot just uh out of the box of course no guns so unfortunately I won't be able to demonstrate the use of the scope pieces included so I'll put those off to the side However, doesn't mean that means the other five pieces included with the set can be shown off. So we're gonna start preparing for this by the topping out revolver. And I'm not gonna take them out, but I did want to show that Oop. he does share the same kanji as the one on the swords, which is honestly a really cool call. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new Dr. Wu helmet piece. We're just gonna slap revolver in there. And as you can see, we do get what looks to be a much meaner head sculpt and also helps to show the eyes better because I'm going to just demonstrate this quickly. Plugging it up onto Six Shot. Oh man, I'm so sorry. It does look a, little, a lot blander, kind of more just 
yeah, bland is the right word to use, I'd say. It just doesn't really show a lot of personality, but with the Dr. Woman, he does look like he's more just ready to fight someone. So, I'm gonna plug it. Revolver in there. Close it up. Put it off the side. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna back up a little bit for this. You're gonna wanna open up the chest panel and just get the wings out of the way and you're gonna close this up, fold it down. And what you're gonna do is it's on a mushroom joint, which means the force pops right out. You're gonna go ahead and take Dr. Wu's version of this head, line it up like before. And just keep push hard until you get that nice click in it. There we go. Close it up. And here we have Planes Return Six Shot with the head from Dr. Wu's Ninja Kit. Just finish. And like I said, in hand, this really does help a lot to show off more of Revolver's head. And I, I don't want to be 100% sure because I think I've only ever seen Takara, Takara's take on Titans Return Six Shot in person once, but it does resemble it, I think, a little bit more with the more blocky pieces compared to the more pointy stuff of the Titans Return release, and I do appreciate it for that. But now it's time to look at, I guess, what I was most excited for initially, which is how he looks with the sword. So, slides in like a charm, even with all the grooves on the sword, and yeah, this is really great, honestly. I feel like this makes much more sense than than two guns. I know G1 toy originally came with two guns, but I feel like it was made for this. Last but not least, then we have our bracket pieces. So flipping all flipping around 180 for six shot. We notice on the wing structures we have two convenient from millimeter ports. So what Dr. Wu wants you to do is plug this in like so and they do not impede anything, they fold perfectly like that. Now we'll take the one out of his right arm. Find the notch. You're just gonna wanna plug it in. And there you go. That's what it looks like with the swords on the back. And again, you can fold it up. And to save time on the video, it does work with all the vehicle modes as well. So, yeah, so pretty great swords. Well, let's get to my final. To quickly thoughts. conclude, Dr. Wu's Ninja Kit for Titans Return Six Shot is a great addition to the entire figure. Whether you own some pieces or not, it really just helps to make the figure feel more complete. With the bracket pieces, the swords, the scopes, and a new head, it just makes them feel complete. Because, like I said, the guns weren't bad per se, but the swords just like give them a presence because we don't really get a lot of Decepticon sword wielders or ones with swords as big as this. So overall, if you don't want to get the more expensive Dreamwave kit, that includes the alternate hands, a whole alternate head, and I believe that comes with the swords as well. This is a really great alternative, again, only for 18 bucks. I'll now probably start buying more Dr. Wu stuff. In fact, I have a figure on the way from them that being Dr. Wu Chatter, so definitely expect that to get reviewed in the ID Armed Review series eventually. So overall, yeah, go buy this if you have Six Shot or uh, Takar LG uh, Six Shot. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this installment of the ID Armory, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone.